Hey, I was gonna come to you though. Good morning. Good. Out here with my bro, got his new Hoka One One Torrent Two Trail shoes on. Oh, Ready got some roll. first sap on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's trail running for you, bro. I know. I know. You gonna come with us, dog? <laughs> too hot. It's too hot for her. Good. It's okay. Yeah. Nice Vibram outsole. This is an all trail shoe. Hoka One One. New trail kicks. Pre-activation run drill here. Single leg squatting down, trying to keep the hips stable. Stretches out the left glute and the left hip as well, but this knee, you can't have it wobble when we go down. Work on that ankle range of motion too. All right, let's get running. Out on our homemade trail on our proper tie. <laughs> we made this trail for training. Running with my brother. Hey. Qualified for Boston. <laughs> What's your PR, 250? 248? No, 256. 12. Sub three, sub three hour marathon runner. Yeah. All right, I'll follow you. I'm not on the trail. <laughs> Really is a beautiful trail out here in the woods. We got our disc golf course out here. Should throw some discs later. Blackberry. It's like a jungle back here. It's good my dad maintained these trails still though. With the lawnmower, I think. Got a little creek down here. It's pretty dry though right now. Always gotta watch for the stinging nettles down by the creek. There you go. Steeple chase. Look at my bro, he's, he's fit. All that treadmill training in the Midwest. These are tough hills. These other makeshift baskets looking a little rusty when you got the, the rust no, on well, the maybe it's not rusty, yeah. my going up the steep hill steep drive Finds out here, gotta open up. drenched in sweat because it's like 100 degrees out <laughs> nah, that's tape bringing it home bringing it home up the steepest part of the hill here look at that acceleration that's an athlete watch the badminton net Good run, bro. Good run. Good job. It's alright. He's, okay. He's okay. He's okay. Good. It's okay. Get it's you some water. Like alright, so back here in the homeland in Oregon. It's the week of August 10th, 2021. We came back for a family reunion. I have a lot of extended family on the West Coast, obviously, growing up here. Out here in the sticks in the Pacific Northwest uh, of Oregon, growing up on this land. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's good to come back and reminisce and train on the old trails that we hand carved into the property out here in the woods and forest and, you know, just running on the soft surface, closer to sea level, beautiful forest. Uh, you know, it's so remote out here growing up. We only had like a couple channels on the TV and then even now, uh, not having really, uh, barely over dial up internet speed. It's basically impossible. The phones don't work out here. No iPhone service. Uh, you can't connect to the internet fast enough. Well, it takes like 10 minutes to check your email, but you can't upload a YouTube video, that's for sure, out here, or download attachments or pictures even, because uh, it's so remote. So it's kind of like being off the grid. We got some solar panels out here. Uh, we do have running water and electricity, well water, which I grew up on, and it's great. It's great to mainly just spend time uh, with family, with loved ones, close family. Uh, it's the best. It's really the ultimate uh, being able to spend that quality time because you never know how much time uh, anyone has left but especially with you know older relatives and people especially after my my health scare this year and we're continuing on here with the pulmonary embolism recovery vlog uh, I've been feeling a lot better there's been progress week after week of course this week I was supposed to be in Chamonix uh, training for UTMB and uh, you know that's still going on so far uh, and I know there's been travel restrictions of course with Delta variant concerns and stuff like that, but you know that's off the table for me this year. Uh, wasn't able to really get in the mountains much this summer. High altitude, uh, big mountain training or technical mountain running training that I usually like to do in the summer, uh, and still trying to get my health back, get things sorted. But I am optimistic that I can continue to competitive events and slowly build that aerobic base back. It's just a, been a real gradual process and something that I've been pretty much forced to be really patient with. And so thanks for your ongoing support with all that. Uh, really just all the kind words, people sharing their stories, uh, you guys reaching out, offering to help, people that have supported the channel just by watching these videos, but liking them, subscribing. Uh, the Patreon support has been tremendous, as well as people that support the small coaching business that uh, Sandy and I run, Higher Running, uh, with their training plan purchases. Really. Uh, helped me out a lot and so I can't thank you guys enough uh, for all that and uh, yeah just uh, letting me know how you're doing as well as uh, you know encouraging me onward because I want to keep doing this I want to keep running competitively and I want to keep making content on here on YouTube all across social media so that really uh, is is motivating to me and inspiring to me and it's all thanks to your support and your viewership so uh, yeah, just spending a couple more days out here, uh, enjoying some quality family time. Disconnected, like I said, from the internet pretty much and from, uh, you know, the modern day rush and, and hustle bustle of things, so to speak. It's kind of nice, though, to disconnect and to, to be one with nature out here in these wooded trails that I grew up with, hanging out, uh, spending time with the pets and, uh, yeah, just enjoying picking blackberries off the bush and uh, running around on the soft dirt natural surface trails, pretty hilly trails out here uh, on our property in a pretty remote area uh, where I spent my entire childhood up until uh, I went off to college. So really a great place, enjoyable place. Haven't been back here for a few years, so really nice to get back here, but keep the training going, keep progressing, keep trying to do these training talks. I got more training talks and upload. Uh, later, hopefully this week for you. Training Talk Tuesday kind of went on the back burner, of course, with all uh, this travel and being not connected to the internet, basically. Uh, so thanks for your patience with that. Again, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for following along on this vlog as I try to recover from my pulmonary embolism. Happened almost two and a half months ago now. Uh, trying to progress every day, trying to keep moving forward that's all we could do when we have to respond to some of these adversities and challenges in our life be it health challenges or financial troubles or you know any sort of addiction or you know just getting injured when we're trying to train for an event or having some sort of traumatic event happen to us in our lives uh, or with loved ones it's you know part of life there's struggles some people have it worse off than others for sure but uh, you know you do the best with with what you have and what you can do in the moment and you try to just keep persevering and moving onward so that's really uh, what I'm trying to do despite how sometimes frustrating it can be and I know you guys could all relate to that so thanks uh, for continuing along and for following along on this journey it's always a process comment below with how you are doing in your vlog how maybe you balance uh, you know work life balance with your running and 
being connected or not connected maybe to high-speed internet or something like that. But thank you so much. Uh, hope you're doing well, and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.